Welcome to In His Presence, where all things are possible. Are you ready for a miracle, a breakthrough, a visitation from the Lord today? I have the express pleasure of hosting a wonderful guest minister, prophet, Dr. Gershom Sakala from Zambia. Gershom, wow, wow. Uh, Man of God, David, you are awesome and anointed. Thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity to be on your set today and coming into your home. And I believe that God is going to do something supernatural today. It's an exciting day. Yeah. Um, my wife is praying for us today. She's at home, and she just wanted to let you know that she's praying for you and for the women who enjoy her ministry of music that she gets taken up to heaven, gets the notes of heaven, and comes back down and releases that, that releases healing to the soul. There's a, there's a new song the Lord's been downloading to my wife, Joanna, and uh, we'll be uh, posting it soon for people to drink in the river of heaven, to drink in the, the sound of heaven that stabilizes, restores. Well, today we're going to talk about uh, a lot of things. We're going to talk about angels today. We're going to talk about freedom from bondage. And uh, we're also going to talk about uh, how God sets the captives free. I want uh, us to open in prayer. Gershom, would you just release the atmosphere of heaven with the authority God's given you? Gershom has been around the world. He's preached in crusades, incredible creative miracles. We were in Kansas City at... Pastor Dan and Patricia Jensen's church uh, not too long ago. We're actually coming back to Kansas City November, December 9th through the 12th to Shekinah Glory Fire Ministries, and we're going to have four more days of ministries. And uh, people were so under the power of God last time. Some of them, it took them 20, 30, 40 minutes to get off the floor. They, they said, we've never experienced the glory of God like we did in Kansas City during the Sunday night impartation service. So we want to invite you to that, to Shekinah Glory Fire Ministries, uh, December 9th through 12th in Kansas City. But uh, Gershom, would you please share with us about your uh, few experiences with angels? Wow. Um, you know, what comes into my mind, I remember when I was in Africa, I was preparing myself to go to uh, a, cr a crusade, what, what I mean, a meeting, it was a campaign where we were having people uh, throughout the, the town come to that particular meeting. It was an open event. So I was, as I was preparing that week, then I remember I was walking, trying to cross the road. Then the car came. The car came and ran over me on my, on my leg. Then I felt like there was an and. That, that, that I did not feel any pain. I felt there was another supernatural hand that the car passed through that invisible hand one. And you weren't hurt? I wasn't hurt, and, and I was surrounded by people. People in Africa, if you bash somebody, people pick up stones to try and stone that car. They believe people have got more rights than the cars. So... So as people surrounded me, they, I said, no, I'm fine. Leave him. The, the driver stopped. He said, please forgive me. Forgive me. I said, there's nothing to forgive you. He said, didn't you see I ran over your leg? I said, no, I'm fine. I literally sensed there was an, an hand. There was a hand that, that, that put the wheels of the car. So the, the angels, the angels, they, they put their hand and the wheels, they just uh, like uh, drove over their hand rather than on my leg. I would, be, I, I would be in trouble today. Maybe the bones would have been broken or crushed, but there was nothing. And I believe that was an angelic protection. And, and I remember the other one. You're going to write this one. This one is there's a guy who wanted to beat me up physically like he wanted to beat me. So the, the, the reason why he wants to beat me, this guy, he says... I was talking too much about Jesus. I was destroying his plans. So, so this guy, it was 6 p.m. He 
He wanted to beat me up, but he couldn't. Instead, he started shaking and saying, I'm burning. I'm burning. Why are you burning me? I said, I have no fire here. Why should I burn you? He said, no, I'm burning, I'm burning. I said, I have no fire here. And then he says, I can see two angels. I said, wow, tell me, how does they look like? He says something. He said, I can't look at in their eyes, just as I can't look at in your eyes. Your eyes right now, there's frames of fire. So is the angels. The angels also, they have frames of fire. It's like his spiritual eyes were so open that he was able to see these two angels. And physically, he was screaming. Physically, he was screaming. Physically, he was, he was screaming. I said, I'm burning, I'm burning. I said, what is it? He says, I can see two angels. Then I said, look, I, I'll give you these two angels if you give your life to Jesus. And that's how he got saved. <laughs> angelic visitations, angelic protection, angelic salvation showing up as a sign or a wonder and to turn somebody away from anger and wanting to hurt a minister, turning them to the cross at Calvary that they might know Jesus and become saved. Gershom, would you lead people in a prayer that they could know Jesus right now? Let me tell you, when Jesus comes into your heart, he dwells in your life. You have power over the devil himself and the demons and witches. And the angels of the Lord, they will always protect you because of the salvation. The Bible says the, the angels of salvation, people, God sends out angels that prepares people to receive Jesus. And God sends angels that protect people that have received the salvation so that the enemy may not plant another seed or a false gospel. So every child of God that received Jesus as angelic protection. And I want you to receive Jesus Christ so that your spirit, your soul, and body can be protected. God protected my life from accident. God protected my life from that, from, from that man who wanted to beat me physically. This is not a dream. This is a reality happening. And the angels were seen physically. I, I'll share another story after uh, about the angelic visitation. Oh, my God. They, 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 I'm just remembering. But I want you to, to know that God has given you a free will, and you must make a decision to accept this gift of salvation. To believe in Jesus is life. Not believing in Jesus can lead you to hell. I know people don't want to hear about that, but that's the reality we are facing. The reality is that there is hell, and there is re the reality is that there is heaven. You choose Jesus, you ignore hell. And God will never take you to hell or to heaven. It's a decision you make right now. That is, if you choose Jesus today, heaven is yours. And here on earth, you have victory. You will have the victory. Shall we pray? Say, Heavenly Father, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. I repent from all my mistakes and my sins. And I ask you to come into my heart and be my father. And let the blood of your beloved Jesus wash me from all my sins. And be my heavenly father. And fill me with the Holy Spirit. Jesus, from this day forth and forever, you are Lord over my life and over my family. For me and my family, we will serve you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, uh, email us at info at virtual church media. We love to connect with you. Go on to virtualchurchmedia.com and email us at info at virtual church media, and we'd love to send you some free items and connect with you. We also have a discipleship training platform that's uh, free to anybody who goes to virtual church media. It's the largest online discipleship platform in the entire world, and it's like the Netflix of Christian ministry, and you can watch off your phone or off your computer and get disciples at an accelerated rate in any category. And uh, so we just welcome you 
into the family of God. We're going to share a couple more angel stories. I, I'm going to let Gershom share one more, and then I'm, I'm going to share one that happened to me in 1990 while I was in a prison cell in Leavenworth Penitentiary, where if you're not right with God, you're always just one heartbeat away from hell. But Gershom, I want you to share the angel story that also happened. Oh, wow. Yeah, you know, it's, I don't usually talk about angels, but angels have been so important in my ministry, actually. I remember three, two weeks ago, I was at Big Bear, California, right here in the United States. I was speaking, and uh, the angels of the Lord, they, sh they showed up in the service, and people felt the physical, physical touch of angels. They literally felt the angels. And one pastor said, I, I believed in angels, but I didn't know they are this real. Yes, angels are so real. They, are, they want to be involved in your life. Angels are involved in the life of the believer. Have you ever felt like, have you ever felt like you are lost? I remember one time I wanted some directions, and suddenly this man just shows up from nowhere, and he gives me direction uh, when I was in Cape Town, South Africa. In the midst of a crowd, uh, man of God, David, there was, there was so much crowd, and I wanted to go somewhere, but I didn't know. Then this man shows up and says, this is the way, follow me. Then I follow the man, I find the way, I look, I can't see the man. That was an angel. I looked. This man doesn't know me, and he gives me the directions. And, and I remember one time right here in the United States at the Venus, at the Venus uh, near Venice Beach, uh, I was, somebody invited me, invited me there for prayer, and people did not show up. We were like four people for praying, and I was just flying from Sweden. I was so tired. I didn't know what, to, what was going on. Then as I was in the church, I thought maybe I was so tired, that's why I was seeing somebody. I saw somebody dressed in white like a wedding dress. Then a few minutes, a few seconds, that picture would disappear. Then again, the person would show up, then it would disappear. Then I realized it, it was an angel. I literally saw an angel with my naked eyes. I couldn't believe it, and the angels disappeared and appeared before my, it's like they were playing games with me. Mm -hmm. Then I said, wow, this is amazing. That really changed my life, that angels are real. Let me tell you, if you, the Bible talks about angels and demons and human beings. The devil is, demons are real. They are devils on assignment and they are also angels on assignment. But right now we are talking much more of angels on assignment and there is this awesome CD, uh, there's this awesome CD is about uh, the angels, how to activate God's angels in your life. I'm telling you, uh, for you to be successful as a Christian, you must be aware of angelic, uh, angelic forces that are there to protect you. People think Christians are weak. No, we are the strongest force on earth. You may be very thin, you may not, have the, you may not be masicura, you may not have a gun, but you find that you are very strong and protected. How do you get that strong? It's because God has sent angels. I remember when I was very sick, the enemy wanted to kill me. An angel of the Lord appeared in my room. Was, he was so tall. I mean, uh, David, this angel was so big, so big, like from here up to, was reaching up to the sky. That's how big that angel was with a sword protecting me. Let me tell you, as a child of God, when the Bible says, fear not, because God has sent his angels. In Psalms 91, it says he will send his angels to protect you from crushing your feet against the stone. In other words, by making mistakes or by being destroyed. Angels are very important. I remember, I remember sometimes uh, when I was attacked, in the air in the morning, David, I was so attacked that I didn't know what to do. And the angel of the Lord appeared and he came and told me and said, command this thing to the mountain. I didn't know what to do. An angel asked me to command it to the mountain. 
So when I commanded that devil, I said, devil, leave my room. An angel picked up that devil and threw it away. That's how powerful the angels. Amen. This is a CD you must get. How many are there is this one? Uh, there's, there's four in the set. There are four of them. Yeah, it's, it's a great uh, CD set. Uh, this, I preached this in San Diego, so it's a four CD set on angels, and it starts with uh, just a biblical basis for angels, and then it goes into uh, the ministry of angels, how they minister to us, for us, and also with us. And then the fourth CD is how to activate angels, $25 on virtualchurchmedia.com. I also want to talk about another exciting CD series. This one's called the Freedom from Bondage series. And if we could just put up the Freedom from Bondage series, I want to talk about this one real briefly. Uh, this is an amazing series. It starts with hope deferred. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a desire fulfilled is like a tree of life. When God has me teach on hope deferred, and this was a message the Lord gave me through a three-year process where I almost died battling a spirit called Hope Deferred, and I didn't know what it was as a mature Christian, and it crept in on me. Hope Deferred comes as very real circumstances, the well-meaning voice of family and friends, and then eventually a demon will come on those other two things, circumstances, the well-meaning voice of family and friends, and then a demon, it becomes a triple braided cord that's not easily broken. But then when the Lord comes in and snaps that cord and destroys the yoke of bondage in an instant, it breaks off of you and the inflooding mind of Christ comes in, it changes your perspective and you're free in an instant. When God has me teach on hope deferred and it actually occurred on this audio CD that we captured, a demon started twisting in a person's belly, which is very common. In fact, I'm just gonna break off hope deferred. There's an anointing for this. Hope deferred in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You will suffer them no longer. I break your power. In the name of Jesus, speak complete deliverance to your spirit, your soul, and your body. Freedom from bondage. Today, I release the anointing of the living God and the angels of ministry to minister to you to minister for you where you can't minister and to also empower you and to go minister with you for the glory of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the son of the living God. Be free and I release the inflooding mind of Christ and hope deferred is broken, and hope restored like a tree of life. The Freedom from Bondage series. You could put that up on the screen. It's Hope Deferred, Soul Ties, also Iniquity, the Root Cause of All Sin, Disc 1 and 2, and also From Curse to Blessing, and also Communing the Meal that Heals. This is actually uh, an MP3 format for $25. You can go right to Virtual Church Media and click the MP3 download instructions. You can bring it right onto your computer. You can even forward it to other people. You can download it up to five times. It'll remain there for 30 days and you'll own the intellectual property rights that to use it. And then we also have the audio series, which is $40. But this gives you instant access and the fruit that comes when people listen to this series, the testimonies that we hear back of what God did for them is so encouraging. And we, we just wanna speak blessing over you right now. I want to talk about an angel visitation that I had in 1990. I was in a cell in Leavenworth Penitentiary. I was there for stolen jet airplanes for the Kali drug cartel and multi-kilogram quantities of cocaine trafficking. I ended up in prison, uh, not for jaywalking, but because I'd committed serious, serious crimes. Had a praying mother, and God heard those prayers, a praying father, and God reached out through the long arm of the law and apprehended me. And I ended up arrested with a stolen jet airplane, a Mercedes Benz, and a bag of cash at 24 years old at a private airfield in Florida, Boca Raton, Florida, mouth of the rat. And I found out there was a great rat among us, and I'd been snitched off. And thank God I had, as I was on the way 
to death, hell, and the grave had God not lovingly apprehended me through the laws and federal agents. And I was thrown in a jail cell and I was given 22 years in prison. I ended up doing 19 years, six months, a week, and a day. When I was arrested, I didn't pass go, I didn't collect $200, I went directly to jail. But it was in that environment that it was 1990 in Leavenworth Penitentiary in Building 63, in a cell number 13, if I remember correctly, it was a lockdown unit, cockroaches crawling on the floors, on the walls. It was not a fun experience. And an angel came to visit me in the wee hours of the morning and he took and he put his hand on my thigh and blessed me and spoke 12 statements over my life at the end of which the, the, the 12th statement, I fell asleep into this deep sleep for about 90 minutes, I think. And when I woke up, up, I heard an audible voice. The audible voice said, David, get up and write the angels, the, uh, write the statements the angels spoke over to you, spoke over your life down. I got up and I, I grabbed an ink pen. It was hot. It was in the middle of the summer in this, this cement and metal cell. And my ink pen was uh, like a bick and it wouldn't write. and It was like globbing. But I got the, the statements and I wrote them down and I could only remember five of the 12. The other seven had been supernaturally sealed and taken from me. But now they're being unlocked one at a time as they're coming to pass. As God took me from a jail cell in Leavenworth Penitentiary after 20 years in prison, and then he brought me out like a Joseph in his mercy and grace. And then he's launched us and my wife to the nations to share the love of God with others. We never had an understanding of how God could do it. We also have a prison ministry that reaches more than 1,300 prisoner, prisons across the United States, Heart of America Prison Ministries, with Bibles to prisoners. It was conceived in a prison cell, birthed while in prison, and now extending out to the nations. But I want to talk about a book that was just released, and it's called Jet Ride to Hell, Journey to Freedom, and Gershom uh, wrote the foreword for the book, and it's about the journey. And if you know somebody that needs freedom from bondage, get them the Freedom from Bondage series. They need angels in their life, get them the Angels series. And it makes great Christmas gifts. But I want Gershom to share about the book, Jet Ride to Hell, Journey to Freedom. Uh, I'm just so excited because, you know, I want to give you a gift that will transform your family and your community. Because you see... Many people are in prison in different ways. You may never have gone to the prison, but you are in the prison of poverty or pain or conflict or within your marriage or your children. There is a lot of hell that is going on, but doesn't mean you need to live your life on hell on earth. You can have heaven on earth, and this book will bring that freedom of you having heaven on earth. There are so many people, David, that are living here on earth like hell because they don't know the truth. Let me tell you, the same power that set free David, it can set you free. And this book, I want to recommend it to you from the master's hand into your hands. Jet ride to hell, a freedom. You can come out of that hell situation, that torment. You can come out of that, uh, that stress, that pain because God has got a destiny for you. He wants you to walk into God-given dreams and visions that he has given you. You know, David Abinas is a founder of the Virtue Church Media, which reaches 120 million homes on five continents and the heart of America prison ministries. He provides Bible studies to prisoners in more than 1,000 facilities. He is the author of more than 30 disciple uh, book rates, hundreds of videos and teachings and with his wife, Joanna, these two couple, they are a powerhouse and you know they have a good testimony in marriage because they love each other and I'm telling you that this book, you must have it and must be read. Give it to your children, give it to the teenager. You know, it could just save your children from drugs. It could just save your children from being jailed. It could just save your husband who is, uh, who is addicted with pornography, is in that prison of pornography, or something else. I want you to know that you can have freedom today because this book 
we will, we will release you into, into, into what God has called you. You will discover God-given gifts and callings, which many people are struggling. Let me tell you, when I was reading this book, I was so touched and so blessed. And you know how God has got David out of hell. Now he's a shining star for Jesus. And how God has healed him and has given him a beautiful wife. He has set him free from prison of hell. God can set you free. You must get this book. Go to David's um, uh, website. You will see uh, virtualchurchmedia.com. You can get your copy today for your Christmas, especially now. Get it for your beloved uh, uh, for your beloved family and your children, even the people you don't like. Maybe you know somebody in, this, in the prison. Buy more than one and send it to them. God bless you. I want you to write us as you read this book. Give us a feedback. This book is a life-changing. God bless you. Thanks, Gershom. We're going to close out. If you could just put that up on the screen about the book. But, uh, yeah, it's life-changing. We're getting great reports back from the prisoners who are reading it. Jet Ride to Hell. You can buy it on Amazon.com. It's on Kindle. You can also uh, get it through Virtual Church Media, our website. And uh, it is, uh, from what people are saying, everybody that reads it tells me a different thing touched their life. It's not the same portion of the book that touches anybody. It's just very far-reaching. So we're really excited about that. Well, we're going to close out, but we just uh, bless you in the name of the Lord. And uh, we'll see you next week. And you want to come to Kansas City, Prophet Gershom is going to be there at Shekinah Glory Fire Ministries uh, no, December 9th through the 12th, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we're having a Monday night service with Pastors Dan and Patricia Jensen, and I have the privilege of co-hosting the last time we were there. Oh my gosh, the power of God. People were changed. A man who'd never experienced Pentecost went from Baptist to Baptocostal, and his feet were healed, and... Uh, God is moving. God bless you, David and Joanna, with Gershom from In His Presence, where all things are possible, virtualchurchmedia.com. Visit us online. We love you. God bless. God bless.